Hey guys, everything Apple Pro here. I managed to grab some AirPods today, which I will be doing an unboxing and review. I'm super excited, I've been waiting for these. These have been delayed time and time again, but if you managed to wake up early today and go over to the Apple Store, you might have got a pair. So let's take a look at them. I haven't heard too much about them, just a couple little things. I haven't, usually when a new product comes out, I don't actually read about it until I've got it in hand, so that way you know I can experience it firsthand and have my own opinions on it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Apple AirPods in white, the only color that they do come in, unfortunately. I think they would look really, really good uh, in black, matching the matte black iPhone, even the jet black, that would be a really cool finish. But yeah, let's do this. $159 for wireless headphones. Hopefully they don't get lost right away, but let's take a look and see if they're worth it. All right, so Santa really has brought the gifts this time around. Apple actually really, really hurried. The, there was this rumor that one of the engineers said there was no way in hell that Apple would miss a Christmas release. So. A lot of these are gonna be presents for Christmas. They fall into that category where it's not overly too much, but it's still a really, really nice gift. So, all right, very neat, tidy little packaging. So hopefully the delay was worth it in the time, like the month or two that Apple delayed this, they could have fixed all the issues. And I'm mostly concerned about battery life. I think these would be cool. I, you know, I'm very careful with my things for the most part. I highly doubt that I would ever lose these. I'm not concerned about that. I know a lot of people are popping this off. Okay, so designed by Apple in California. Okay, peeling this back. We've got our neat little packaging. Wow, that is tiny. It's like a little egg, holy crap. Wow, I did not expect them to be this tiny. Okay, off that goes. And slide this out. So, pop it up on this indentation, ooh. It's like a magnetic latch, I love that. That alone is already a sign of the quality, cool. Okay, so what have we got? We've got our little guys right here. Oh man, so this is exactly the same size as regular ear pods, but now wirelessly. Holy crap, I, I just wanna take a moment to say, I remember when these things were just a concept back in the day, and I thought it was impossible. There was no way we could see this so soon and this is this is testament right here holy crap the future is here now so i know apple isn't the only one the only company that's doing this kind of stuff but that's just incredible we have four hour battery life and a whole bunch of gestures and sensors inside holy crap that is cool okay so i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the little details here what we've got is basically a microphone and this is the infrared sensor right here and another one over here for gestures and a mic for the noise cancellation. We've got a shiny silver part down here. And where does it say left? Okay, so here's the left one and the right one on this side. So that's cool. The latch is actually metal. So what does this button here do? All right, so I've got my cable. I'm gonna plug it in here. I wanna see what happens. Is there some sort of charging indicator? Oh, okay, that makes sense. So that little LED is in there basically to show when it's charging. Oh, that's cool. All right, but it's a very, very small package. I mean, I have pretty large-ish hands, but this thing is so tiny. I would really be scared about misplacing this casing. I know when I'm handling these, I'm gonna be very aware of the fact that I'm holding them, but wow, they are so ridiculously light. So in case you guys didn't know, Apple is gonna be charging $49 uh, to replace the battery in one of these. If they ever go out of warranty, you'll need to. And $69 if you lose one of these. So it's certainly not worth losing because 69 times two is 138 and then you don't even have the case. So be very careful with these guys. All right, let's uh, charge them up and see how they sound. And also I wanted to see what else is in the box any secret compartments. Oh, oh, it actually does come with a cable to charge them. That I did not expect. So this alone is $19 from Apple. So that's a value right there. That is super cool. All right, and just to show you guys how easy the pairing process is. So I've got my uh, 7 Plus over here and I've got some music preloaded. So you just pop this guy off of charge. And so with Bluetooth on, on the device you're pairing it with, just open this guy up place it right next to it, and boom, within three seconds, you are connected. So, connecting, 
keep it close. And this is taking advantage of that W1 chip inside of here and inside of here. So super, super neat. You can track your battery progress of charging or discharging over here. That's really neat. So man, this is awesome. All right, I'm really excited to see how these sound. So let's flip over to where you guys can see me because there's really no way to show you otherwise. So something interesting I noticed, look at the seam line right here. It's very noticeable and more raised than the one on this side. This one you can barely see. So I think I got a little manufacturing defect on mine. Um, it's very difficult to see, but you can definitely feel it with your nail a lot more and get in there. On this one, you can barely, barely even feel it. So not sure I like that. And sad story, this does not come with Apple stickers. So I was not able to find any in mine. All right, so here are these things and the button I actually just read about what that is. So basically, uh, you hold it to go ahead and pair with other devices that don't have the W1 chip. A W1 chip is included in all the latest Apple products, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, so you don't even need to go into the Bluetooth settings to connect them. That's really cool. But okay, design-wise, you guys know they're beautiful. They're very small, very, very small. Like I love this casing. It's just something you can throw in your pocket, in your bag, purse, and I even feel a dent from it. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect them with this. Basically, every time you open the case, it does activate them and they go ahead and pair with your device of choice. So here we go. And I do have the regular lightning headphones for comparison. So feels exactly the same like AirPods. Oh, has a nice little sound, cool. So it knows when they're in your ear, which is the really cool part. So when you take them out, they'll stop playing music. And of course you can listen to them individually, but Let's uh, let's turn something on. Heat of the Moment by Memba. Really good song. Okay, so I've got it just on a little bit. I wish you guys can listen with me. I mean, this is such a subjective thing to uh, understand what sound is like. And I'm not an audiophile, that's for sure. Like, for me, I hear sound and I like it. If it's a good tune, I like it. It's not all about sound quality, except in my car, my stereo is important. But here we go, drop. So about halfway. I don't even have a lot of background noise here. I'm in a silent room, um, but it's very crystal clear. I'm quite impressed. I want to hear the bass, so I'm going to turn it up even a little bit more. Wow. So the bass is a little synthetic. It's a little flat. I mean, Coming from a speaker this small, oh, it just paused the music. Whoa, that is so cool. You take one out and it pauses the music. Oh, I thought it was for both. Um, but of course, what kind of bass are you gonna get from something this tiny? Unlikely to get anything uh, of significance, but it's still satisfying. It feels like synthetic bass, but it's still... Wow. Apple, I am impressed. I just wanna look at myself. Do I look like a dork with these? So, okay, they do stick out of your ears, especially if you got some ears that stick out a lot. I feel like I do look like a dork, but pretty soon everyone's gonna be walking around with these, so I'll just blend in with the crowd, right? But, not bad. They're like earrings that go into your ear. I don't know, how do I look, guys? So I'm gonna go all the way up. Rip ears. Hey, so I thought it would be a little bit louder but still, it's more than sufficient. I feel like most of the time, I'm gonna be having to keep them around right here. So I'm gonna pull these out and go ahead and plug in these lightning ones. All right, so actually, do these, are these exactly the same size? So these are a little bit longer to fit in that battery, but they are just, they are the same size for sure. Uh, this little slot over here is a little bit bigger and it has a couple more sensors in it in the microphone. And of course the tube part is thicker, but same size pretty much. And I, I'm sorry guys, I, I wish I could share this sound with you. It's just like, you have to try these on in person. This is just my opinion. Okay, so same sound. Okay, these definitely get much louder. That's a given fact right there. They do get louder. This of course has limits with battery and size. So what it's capable of from something this tiny is just mind blowing guys. I gotta give Apple that to have something so beautiful, so functional, and I'm not even getting to all of the cool things you can do with it yet. I'm just, just the sound quality for now is quite impressive. I'll tell you one thing though, the bass 
is worse on these, much better on this, much, much better. This feels so flat. It's definitely a much cheaper sound. Like, wow, when you really, when you really bump the volume, the notes, the clear ones uh, in the highs are very, very clear. That's, that's what I meant. Um, really, you'd lose a lot of the audio quality when you put this one up. Um, phew, wow. Okay, so definitely better. That was my one concern is how does this stack up to lightning headphones? And I can tell you they're easily twice as good, easily. All right, so basically one tap and hold is bringing up Siri or just a quick double tap. Same thing, um, basically like this. So get ready to see a lot of people in the street doing that. Not really, I, that's such a unintuitive way to activate Siri, I think. So there is an option if you go into Bluetooth and jump onto the AirPods to do a play and pause. So double tap to go ahead and start the music and double tap to stop it. So this isn't the only new setting. Um, there is an automatic ear detection, so you can go ahead and pull them out, it'll stop playing and you can't turn that off. Uh, the microphone, you can choose which one it's gonna be used on. You can change the name of the AirPods in here as well, so that's really cool. Now, if you actually jump into general and about where your usual firmware information is, if we scroll down to Apple AirPods, there is a separate tab for it now, meaning you might be able to update the firmware on here. I think Apple would definitely improve either the battery life or features, gestures in the future through these firmware updates. It's just cool. Our headphones now get software updates. I believe the way that these work is actually through vibration. Um, the infrared aren't actually used for when you're tapping on them. Uh, it's very light on the gestures. I actually expected there to be a way to raise the volume. There's no way to skip songs, which is a little bit annoying to be honest. Uh, even you can do those with the lightning ones. So there are some drawbacks going to these. It's very iPhone dependent for the controls. So the two most important things for me are water resistance and battery life. So these have five hour battery life with 24 hours inside of this case, which is more than plenty. My, uh, my Beats Solo have just about the same battery life, 24 hours, but of course, these do drain faster individually. You're gonna have to plug them in here and recharge them. But for a gym session, I think that'll be more than enough. I just feel a little dorky walking around with these right now, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Um, you know, battery life is fantastic for what they are, how small and compact they are. Only other thing is the water resistance. So they are sweat proof. Uh, they're not meant to go underwater, certainly, but they can handle light exercise. Nothing like really, really drenching. So be careful with that. Plus, uh, do keep in mind that these have a bunch of little ports and holes that can get clogged up if you don't take care of them and clean them. So uh, be very careful of that. Overall, I got to say, I am very, very surprised with uh, the actual sound quality. Now, I haven't been in a noisy environment, so I haven't tested that part, but just sitting in this room, uh, they're not as loud as I'd like, but the quality is great, the bass is all right. I mean, much better than the Lightning EarPods, that's for sure. So yeah, that's just my little impression of these guys. I, I love them, $159. Um, compared to Samsung's for 200, I think these are well worth the money, really. Plus, they're not limited to Apple. You can connect these with other devices as well. I'm not sure if the gestures will work with uh, phones that are not iPhones, but man, quite good. I must say, Apple, well done. I am liking these, so I will be using these at the gym. Don't make fun of me if you see me wearing them. Hopefully, everyone will adopt them soon, but yeah, don't lose them, by the way. So $59 to replace one, or I mean 69, so. Yeah, I love the fact that in the case, they are magnetic, so everything's on magnets in here. They're not gonna fall out. It's like a little pill box, it's very nice. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. That is the Apple AirPods. Stay tuned, I got some awesome more videos coming for you guys.